I'm about to give you guys five things you need to know before walking the Brooklyn Bridge. And the other five things you probably didn't know about it. Make sure to stick around. Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kells. Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're here in Manhattan. We're about to take the Brooklyn Bridge. I wanna give you five things you should know before you take it that are very important. And also another five things you probably didn't know about it. It's 90 degrees out here today guys. It's gonna be a scorcher. If you're ready, you know I am. Let's do it. All right guys, ready for a walk across the bridge. But let's start off with the first tip here. The first tip is gonna be grab a water, a snack, anything you need before you take the bridge. Luckily for you, if you enter on the Manhattan side, they have vendors here, as you can see all behind. They're selling water, they're selling snacks, they're selling a lot of different things before you go on the bridge that you might need. So it's crucial to come here first. If you enter on the Brooklyn side, you won't have that luxury. If you enter on the Manhattan side, this is what you get. So that's very important. That's our first tip. Now let's take the bridge, guys. Of stuff out here for sale guys this is actually a nice place to go shopping if you need something you can definitely grab it before you go on the bridge magnets hats photographs that kind of stuff nice little opportunity to come and look at stuff a little window shopping never hurt nobody that's pace university that's why i attended college and that's why i graduated this is actually the only university in the financial district it is a private business school all right guys let's take the bridge now that we're taking the bridge, I just want to give you guys a little history lesson, a couple of things, interesting facts you didn't know about the bridge before. All right, at number one, we have the Brooklyn Bridge needed a little bribery to get started. In the 1850s, Don Augustus Roebling wanted to make a suspension bridge that would make the commute easier for working class New Yorkers. After Roebling was hired by the New York Bridge Company to help span the river, infamous political kingpin William Boss Tweed gathered about 65,000 in bribes to the city alderman to secure funding for the bridge. So the bridge definitely started in a little shady business. All right guys, as we're walking, what do we see here? We see a little baby shoe. And that is actually our second tip of the episode. And this is the second tip. You guys need to wear comfortable shoes when you come to Brooklyn Bridge. This is about a mile long, about two kilometers long. So you need to have comfortable shoes when you're coming on the Brooklyn Bridge. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long trip for you. Guarantee, wear some tennis shoes, some sneakers, or comfortable shoes. Leave the high heels at home, leave the boots at home. The perfect place to go for a nice walk. So bring comfortable shoes, guys, for sure. For the second fun fact of the Brooklyn Bridge. So the Brooklyn Bridge used to be referred to as the Great East River Bridge, also the Great East River Suspension Bridge. In 1883 at the dedication, it took on the name the New York and Brooklyn Bridge because Brooklyn didn't become part of New York until 1898. So Brooklyn Civic Pride led to the name officially changing to the Brooklyn Bridge in 1915. Alright guys, so the number three fact we have is stay in your lane. Yo, there are so many people walking, so many people biking. There are two different lanes. We don't want you to get hurt. You have to stay on the right side. Stay on the right side of where you're walking. So if you're walking over to Brooklyn, stay on the right-hand side. The bikes will pass by you on the left side. If you're walking from Brooklyn to Manhattan, make sure to stay closer to the middle because the bikes will still pass on that side. So make sure to pay attention to where you're going because you don't want to start your day getting hit by a bike or a scooter or anything. So it's not worth it guys. So just stay in your lane and make sure you look where you're going. Literally, okay, I can never decide like And that's we're walking guys. It's so easy to get caught up in what you see in front of you, but all the views will be on the sides. So over there, over here as well. That was a prime example of how people almost get hit. This 
All right, guys, now it's official. We're actually on the bridge bridge now. What I do love about Brooklyn Bridge, and I want you guys to know, you can come here and take pictures of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and you will get some of the best views here in the city for sure. Also, I want you guys to know, it's a very popular bridge, and a lot of people love to come through, and they love to take pictures, and just kind of stop up traffic a little bit, but that's fine. That's what they came here for. So you want to come at a good time. You don't want to be here around 12, one o'clock, lunchtime, it's crazy. Uh, definitely come early in the morning or a little bit after five or six o'clock. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. Look how awesome this bridge looks, man. I mean, we got views on both sides. This bridge has been standing for a long time, man. Okay guys, for our next fact, the city had entrepreneurial showman P.T. Barnum and his circus march 21 elephants across the Brooklyn Bridge in May of 1884 just to show how sturdy the Brooklyn Bridge was. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to get that good selfie right there. So I want to give you the fourth tip of walking the Brooklyn Bridge, and that is making sure you get the right angles. You know nowadays with photos and videos, it's all about the right angles. This is your view of Brooklyn when you're walking from the Manhattan side. And then this is your view walking from Brooklyn to Manhattan side. The Brooklyn Bridge was the longest suspension bridge in the world for 20 years. With a span of 1,595 feet, it was by far the longest until 1903, when the nearby Williamsburg Bridge overtook it by just four and a half feet. That's definitely how you outsource your resources to get your kid to take your photos for you. You guys gotta take notes. All right, let's make it to the end, and I'll see you guys when we get there. And at number five, guys, the thing you should know before coming to Brooklyn Bridge and crossing it, you want to dress in layers. It gets pretty chilly up here sometimes because we are by the water, we're really high up. So even on a day like today, it's pretty hot, it's 90 degrees. You definitely want to bring a layer, maybe a jacket, a hoodie, tied around your waist. So that is the last thing you guys need before you're crossing the Brooklyn Bridge. All right guys, that pretty much wraps it up today for our journey here at Brooklyn Bridge. We walked from Manhattan to Brooklyn. I gave you five things you need to know before you even come to the bridge, and also five more things you probably didn't know about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the sights and the sounds of the bridge, and definitely come through. It's 100% free. You can do it with friends, family, or significant others. Man, it's a scorch out here. It's so hot. I'm gonna grab me something to drink and have a seat in the shade. Yo, until next time guys, it's your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. We out. Mango and the cherry. Gracias, boy. Hey, five dollars. Five dollars? Woo, my man's making some money. The money maker. Say what's up? I collected money to finish pay my Ferrari. That's why I charge five dollars. He's getting a Ferrari, so he needs the five dollars. But we're gonna give him the five dollars anyway. Okay, mucho gusto.